This project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year PCBWay organized the 7th project design contest where in addition to electronic and mechanical project also has been added a new code category STM32 project. For the best selected projects are provided rich prizes in cash, coupons and special gifts. Submit your project for partic participation in this contest from 2nd September 2024 to 9th January 2025. For more detailed information and instruction, visit the given page. Let's PCB way always be your first choice. Hello? Dual resonant solid state Tesla coil is a type of Tesla coil that uses a solid state components, typically MOSFET or IGBTs, insulated gate bipolar transistors for switching. The primary circuit consists of a resonant inductor and capacitor which together form a resonant tank circuit. Output driver circuit typically consists of uh, consist a half bridge like in this case or full bridge configuration for controlling the MOSFET and, feed and feedback circuit. Uh, serves to monitor the output and adjust firing patterns dynamically. This type of Tesla coil has several advantages including high efficiency, energy efficiency, greater control over pulse frequency, width and amplitude and quit operation. Now I will present you a relatively simple way to make such a device thanks to this cheap driver module that I got at a very low price of about $15. Along with the module, the package consists of a description in the form of a circuit diagram of the module. Uh, as well as a schematic representation of how to connect the power part, part which should contain MOSFET or IGBT transistors. The PCB is solidly built and also consists a staccato interrupter circuit with two adjustment pot potentiometers as well as an audio modulator with potentiometer to control the modulation of the input audio signal for musical Tesla coil operation. As you can see I placed the components on a small plastic board. Uh, the two power semiconductors are mounted on a alu big aluminum heatsink and the other elements are directly soldered to them or glued to the board with double-sided adhesive. The transformer is wound on a toroidal, toroidal ferrite core with a diameter greater than 2 cm and consists of 3 windings, 2 with 12 and 1 with 8 windings. More detailed instructions for making this trafo can be found at the given Labcoast Instructables site. Actually, this is a very similar configuration but performed with different components and instead of a QCW interrupter, it contains a regular interrupter with partial frequency and duty cycle control. To power the half bridge, bridge configuration of MOSFETs, I use a simple half wave rectifier consisting of a fast diode and one microfarad capacitor. I control the voltage with this 2 kV variac. At the beginning, uh, during testing, the Tesla coil work normally, but with a gradual increase in voltage at about 100 volts, I encountered a big problem. Namely, the MOSFETs, the MOSFETs burned out very often, unexpectedly. This is the result, many that MOSFETs. I found that the reason for this was the very poor quality of the core of the gate driver transformer. Uh, the output signal of the transformer should be as close as possible to an ideal square wave signal. The greater the deviation, the faster the MOSFET burns. Now I will show you a simple way to test the characteristics of a gate driver transformer. Uh, which depends on the quality and composition of the core. For this purpose, on all unknown types of cores that I had at the moment, I want 10 turns. 
uh, with a double wire taken f uh, from a network cable. One color is the input and other color is the output. Now we need a square wave generator, an oscilloscope and a gate driver integrated circuit, in my case a TC426, but you can use any gate driver. Uh, at the input of the integrated circuit, uh, we bring uh, a signal from the generator and at the output, here we connect uh, the primary of the transformer, as you can see in this diagram. At the output of the transformer, we connect an oscilloscope to observe the shape of the signal. Now let's start testing. Uh, uh, reason on frequency of my Tesla coil is around 250 megahertz, uh, uh, pardon, kilohertz. And this is the output signal. From this gate driver trafo. As you see, this is far away from the ideal uh, rectangular signal. Now we will try with other trafo. For example, this trafo. Now, as we see, the signal is almost rectangular, except these peaks at the start and end, at the frequency of 250 kilohertz. Uh, this is so. This is a quality trafo, and we can use as gate driver transformator. Uh, Now we will try another trafo. This is the gate tra uh, the gate driver transformer that I use in my in my Tesla coil. As we see, this trafo has uh, extremely poor characteristics. And we cannot use at a gate driver as a gate driver trafo. And this is the reason for my Burns MOSFETs. Now I will try another trafo.
and this is also good almost rectangular output signal. We can repair these distortions at the start and the end uh, with simple resistor of about 50 ohms in series with capacitor on the primary of the transformer. If you don't own a signal generator and an oscilloscope, you can simply test these trafos with an induction meter. Win the same numbers of windings on all cores and measure the inductance of the coils that thus prepared. Uh, the one with the highest coil inductance should be the most suitable for this purpose. Now let's see how the transformer works in real conditions. First we will test with a very low voltage of 20 to 30 volts and bring the compact fluorescent lamp close to the secondary. If the bulb lights up, it is a sign that the transformer is oscillating and we can gradually increase the voltage of the half bridge power configuration. After choosing a suitable driver transformer, I have no problems in functioning with the note that the highest voltage with which I tested the device is 150 volts. Unfortunately, at the moment I didn't have any more spare MOSFETs, so I don't, didn't want to carry out tests to the extreme limits. I expect MOSFETs to arrive soon as well as more powerful IGBT transistors so that then I plan, plan to update the project with a QCW Staccato controller. It is interesting that during long-term operation of this Tesla coil, the temperature of the MOSFETs did, did not exceed 45 degrees Celsius, which you can see on the thermal analysis that I made with my thermal camera. The aluminum heatsink is cold. The transistor temperature is about 20 degrees. Now 26 degrees. 27 degrees. I also made a small Arduino project for generating rectangular music. The following uh, video inserts of the operation of these Tesla coils with different settings of the interrupter.
And finally, a short conclusion. The purpose of this project was primarily to test this inexpensive driver board. And this was also my first uh, DR SSTC Tesla coil with a half bridge configuration. As you could see, the module works quite solidly and stably and meets the needs of, for simple making of such a Tesla transformer. There is also a place on the board where an external interrupter can be connected. So, as I mentioned before in the next project, I plan to make a QCWW Tesla coil.